Greetings once again to the wonderful Regent University interns here in our class in the spring semester of 2023. I promised you that I would be stopping by every time we were at a key point in our spring semester. So I wanted to be able to stop by this evening and welcome you to week 10 and kind of give you a quick catch up, a summary, an indication of where we are in our process. And hopefully it will be helpful as you work toward the end of the spring semester. A midpoint assignments, I already have several, you know, I already have one final evaluation, but midpoint assignments are very important. I just want to clarify again how those will work. A midpoint evaluation, which I have, of course, several of, takes place not on a date, but it takes place after you see on your time log that you have completed 100 hours of internship experience, of internship activities. And so after that 100 hours, you will download your midpoint evaluation form and get together with your field supervisor and go over it together, sign it, make a copy of it and post it to Blackboard. And then we have a couple of other kind of, uh, you know, they're connected as you know, to your foundational spiritual formation class they're updates really in that sense. So there is the spiritual formation portfolio update. You know, I provided a date of March 5, which has come and gone. Uh, but as you recall, due dates are very, very flexible. They are theoretical in a sense in that uh, all of our all of our students, all of our uh, interns are working independently from one another and on their own unique schedule. And so that's why the midpoint evaluation, it does not aim at a date, but rather at a place in the internship. And so I have always stated that I will grade your, uh, your update assignments early. If they come in early, I'll grade them early. If they come in late, I'll, I'll grade them late because there's really no such thing as early or late. I've just posted some dates around the middle of the semester so you would have a place to aim at. A spiritual formation portfolio was such an excellent opportunity just to download that that template and then to interact with it. It reviews the seven areas of Christian spiritual formation, holistic formation that you have already had and just brings a quick update. Uh, so it shouldn't require a lot of writing on your part, but just thinking about, OK, where am I now based on what we learned in that class? And then the resume update, March 19, of course, it's right around the corner. That's simply your most recent resume. Obviously, you're not applying to me for a job necessarily. It's just your most recent resume. And you did some work with your vocational formation in that foundational class. This is just an update. And so I appreciate uh, being able to receive these two documents for you. They're an important part of your internship. And then, of course, we have final assignments. We have the final evaluation, which, again, is not aimed at a date. It simply takes place after you have noticed on your time log that you have completed 200 hours of your internship activities. Uh, and again, I've already processed one final assignment because it'll vary greatly. It's not unusual for an intern to have a one month intensive. And so it comes and goes rather quickly, sometimes in the middle of the sem uh, semester, sometimes toward the end of the semester. So whenever you've noticed that you have those 200 hours, then you will uh, download your uh, final evaluation form, get together again with your field supervisor and go over it together, sign it, copy it, and post a copy to to a Blackboard. Along with this assignment, you will then post a copy of your time log which is a record of those 200 hours. So I need to be able to see that as well to confirm that you did in fact uh, have qualified 200 hours of internship activity. That's coming up. You remember April the 29th is the last day of the spring semester. So I can't accept assignments after 11.59 p.m. Eastern time on the 29th of April. So remember that's really ultimately the only due date we have per se. So keep that in mind as well. The journal is something you no doubt have been working on as you go again on your time log every time you've noticed that you have another 20 hours of internship experience. You will you will compose a journal entry that is really kind of a combination of report and diary. 
It's an opportunity for you to reflect on your experience during those 20 hours. So that will result in 10 entries. You can use the a journal uh, tool in Blackboard to compose them, or you can actually compose those entries in something like a Microsoft Word document, post the entire document at the end of the semester. And so once again, there's only really one due date and that's the last day of the semester. I wait to look at your, uh, your journal entries until I see that you have completed every other aspect of your internship experience. And then I'll jump in and always enjoy reading those and being able to celebrate with you just a really great internship experience. As you know, your internship experience gives you an opportunity to put boots on the ground. It's an opportunity to uh, add to your learning, but also to grow personally and professionally, to provide servant leadership, uh, to be able to apply the things that you have learned in your master's degree program up until now. What a great opportunity it is and what a great job all of you are doing. I'm so very excited when I see the various kinds of things that you're doing. I just know that you're adding value everywhere you are. So as always, let me know if there's any way I can serve you. It is a privilege and an honor for me to do so. So God bless you, everybody. Just have a great week.